I'm Jeffrey Engel. I'm the Executive Director of the Council of State and Territorial Epidemiologists. Integration in this context, of course, is connecting primary care to public health. In my work as a, an applied public health epidemiologist, this is all about exchanging data information between healthcare and public health in, in real time or as close to real time as possible. Uh, mainly the information about what each party needs to know. I think to move to this higher plane and what the future holds for us is how well is government public health, big capital P, capital H, going to be working with our partners in, in primary care to make, make this all fit together. And uh, again, being an epidemiologist, I'm going to be saying over and over again that that's going to be dependent fundamentally on how, how well we can exchange information. There are two major barriers, on, particularly on the public health side. One is technology, um, because of the expense of not just uh, developing uh, modern systems that can handle uh, modern messages from the healthcare industry um, and maintaining those systems, but also having a prepared workforce. So workforce development is key on my mind as one of the major barriers um, and challenges that lie ahead in, in full integration. So we have epidemiologists now who are graduating out of um, their master's of public health degrees. They're really good epidemiologists, but we need to also take the next step for them. They have to understand uh, new data sources, where the data is going to be coming from. They don't need to be computer scientists, but they have to know what those computer scientists are doing to be able to get the information that they need. And this is uh, one of the major challenges that lie ahead for us in public health. Public health plays a uh, critical role because they've been always working on population health from the beginning. That's what we do. We take care of the people that are in our jurisdiction. But the other thing that uh, public health has been doing since, since modern inception has been in the area of prevention. So we know how to prevent things. Primarily, we know those risk factors, those causes, those upstream determinants, and we know have actionable ideas and plans on how to modify them to actually prevent the disease outcome. And then my last example is in the whole world of healthcare associated infections and antimicrobial resistance. The classic best model for that uh, modern integration system would be a public health center communicating with hospitals and tertiary uh, care centers and long-term care centers in their community so that patients that are harboring nasty germs like antimicrobial resistant germs are monitored through a central public health uh, entity. That gets back to what I said first, which is you need that good data and information exchange to make that happen.